Welcome to a new video. I didn't talk to, while I was painting, but I listened to music. But I understand you need some guidance. I used burn sienna, raw sienna, ultramarine violet, new color, burnt umber, and ultramarine blue. You can not without it. So we do a sketch first. Not too difficult. Just a small river bench. Some farms in the distance. I've seen this uh, scene when I drive to my work. I don't work anymore, I'm retired, but I still know this scene very well. I wet the paper. Paper Sanders Waterford, rough, but I used the back of this rough. And the format is uh, 45 by 21 centimeters. This is 300, 300 grams. I begin with a mix of ultramarine and ultramarine violet. And I add a bit of raw sienna to that. I blend it a bit. Paper is flat, same mixed in the raw sienna. I don't like to mix uh, or use pigment straight from the tube. I mix always a bit for one and another. I uh, lose here a house where I sketch one, but it's not so important. A rough brush stroke to mark where the land begins, the snow, and the sky ends. You will need something there that is not straight. A bit of water. Snow says. Rough texture of soft that is snow. Little background trees, uh, marine violet. Sky still wet, so it vapors out a bit. Bit of burnt sienna, bit of burnt umber. Burnt umber and ultramarine make it some darker. In snow scenes, you have to make things darker to, to stand out. The snow gets lighter when you uh, make other things darker. You have to wear it quick because uh, the sky dries. It's not so important that it dries, but you get the other watercolor when it does. You can always wet the sky for a second time and then do the trees. But when you work quick, 
This is also uh, Ultramarine and Jordan. Find the houses. It's an unusual format that I have a painting in my hallway that is old and it is this size so I make it for the hallway. This last one is uh, brush strokes I mean is burnt sienna and raw sienna. Uh, this is what is on the palette. If you look at your palette and you can alter the, the pigment, what is already there, to stay in harmony in your watercolor. But now I use five colors. Five pigments, I should say. And it's two blues close together, and three earth pigments. And you can say that Bird Sienna is red, and Raw Sienna is yellow. This is Ultramarine Violet, straight from the tube. With the burnt sienna, together with raw sienna, I think. Mixed in uh, with the violet. I define it later on. Just a dark mix. Just look at your watercolor and think, what should I do there? What is missing? If nothing is missing, don't do anything. As you notice, I do not a lot of brush strokes. But I make one and I left, leave it alone. Don't go twice over shadows or something like that. As long as it is wet, you can drip in some other colors. I talk to you in the computer microphone, so it is a bit low, I think. Well, this side is also uh, ultramarine violet, maybe a bit of ultramarine with it, just to make it more, more glowing. You see the blue is some lighter than the other side. But in general, it is blue. I make the river a bend. I don't want you to look there, so I soften it with well, some water.
Now the river makes a bend. Just to uh, paint some land. I always say just uh, use the techniques you see here. You can make this, but that is not so necessary. If you have a own winter landscape of your own, just try to copy the techniques and not the painting. This is ultramarine and ultramarine violet, while the other side has mirror violet. Lots of details, a rigor and a dark mix, ultramarine burnt sienna, ultramarine burnt umber, doesn't matter. As long as it is dark, you can even use neutral tint for this, doesn't matter. As long as you don't make shadows with neutral tint or paint spray, it is all okay. I paint here with the light of the paper. Don't even hassled, made a book from it. Painting with the light of uh, the white of your paper. I paint around what I like to show you. On one of the grain silos, I make well, I think a bit of cerulean blue. But you can do it in green, in purple, uh, whatever you want. Not so important. If you make it red, it is a focal point in a second, but blue. Is always in the distance. Fence. Not too thick. It's there and it's not there. Put a ultimate violet on the roofs. Otherwise it is so white. This snow and I make shadows of reflections. Well it doesn't matter. There's nothing much to say about this. Shadows on the roof, a bit stronger. Just looking what to do. There's nothing much to do. There's a burnt sienna there. I think it is okay. Thank you for watching. Till the next time.